Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how do we navigate from our VB page, from a fragment to a page. Why are we going to show? Because navigation is very, very uh, simple. But in fragment, when you create a fragment and let's suppose you, in the fragment, you have some button and from that button, you want to navigate to a page. In fragment, there is no navigate action in the action chain. So there's a tricky part to navigate from a fragment to a page. Let's look at it and see how this can be done. So let me go to my VB screen and let me create a new application. Let's say test application and let's say finish. So when you create a application, you will see here, let me create a new application. Let's say web app and create. So here, if you go to the fragment, there's a one fragment which is created with name shell header. And in that shell header, we have uh, this sign out option. And this shell header is, is included in the page shell, which you can see here, shell header. Now let's consider when you click on this, there would be a one more button, for example, settings. And when you click on a settings button, you need to navigate to another page. So for it, let's do this step by step. First of all, let me add one more option called sign out. So if you go to the shell header and you see this uh, avatar, there you see this avatar is populated from, from our application variable called avatar items. So let's go to a page application variable. And here you see, this is the one that is coming and what you can do, you can copy this and add one more. Let's say it's settings, settings. Let's say it's settings ID and there's a, a icon class which is called settings, fine. Now, if I go back to the shell header page, you will see this setting option should be visible here, right? Now, so when I click on the settings button, I need to navigate to a page that I create here. For example, I'm creating a page called settings. Settings and then create. And there I'm going to put some input text component here. One and let's say two. And let's change the text here. Let's say enter username, for example, and let's say enter password. Right now, let's consider this is my settings page. Now, when I click, when I click on the settings page, I should be navigated to the settings page. Now, let's do one this thing. So here, let's generate an event here. Event listener, OJ action. Now you will say, yes, I can simply use the navigate action chain which I use to navigate to our pages. But here you can see, I don't see the navigate. So when you create an action chain in the headers, in the, in the, in the fragments, you will not have this navigate. But if you go to any other action chain, for example, I go to this action chain, which is in my shell page, you will see this navigate page, navigate flow. But that navigation is not visible in your fragments action chain. Then how do we do this? So for that, what you will do in the headers, in the, in the same, in the same fragment, you have to create a custom event in the fragment from where you want to navigate. Let's say events, create a custom event and let's say navigate to settings page and let's say emit event to container. So meaning the event will be will be uh, generated when you generate this event in the in the containing page i mean let's say create all right now let's go to this fragment here and here you see in the button action chain there is no input parameter let me create a input parameter current let's say this is of any type create and let me add this as a current dot data so that I can get the ID because 
when I click only on this settings, then only it should be navigating to the page. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check a if condition here. If my current dot ID equals to setting. What is that setting? This is the settings that I have added here. This settings, right? ID, fine. Then only I should be navigating to the settings page. So now what I'm going to do, I am going to say fire event and I'm going to fire that navigate to settings page. The event that I have created, fine. The next step, you have to go to the containing page of, of this fragment. So in this cell, this, this fragment has been added. So what you have to do, you have to choose that header and create a event here. Meaning register that event listener, which is navigate to settings page that we have created in the fragment. Now there you can say navigate and then select the flow which is main and then select the page main settings. Now let's run this and see how this can be done. How it's worked now. So here go to the settings. Now you are on the settings page. So this is how you can navigate uh, to another page from the fragments. This is the common problem that I have seen like developer raise this concern and they are not able to navigate. I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.